I began to knit and weave at the age of 15, after learning the art of textiles from my Aymara grandmother. Back when I learned how to weave, there wasn't a lot of plastic trash in most of Peru. Puno, Peru is a city on the shores of Lake Titicaca. We have large communities of Aymara and Quechua speaking people. Beneath the sacred peak of Cancharani sits Puno's municipal landfill. I had first been to this landfill in 2010 when I started making large scale knitted sculpture. At the time, it was a ditch in the ground. Now a trash mountain. Plastic is such a modern material, it has invaded our lives down to the most minute detail. Picking up all that plastic was really dirty work. After getting it off the mountain, I washed it in soap and water with bleach. After washing the bags, I would organize them by color before cutting them into strips. It was difficult to get the amounts of colors that I needed to complete the huifala. As part of the artist leadership program, I went to the local children's center, San Juan. These children are all of Aymara and Quechua heritage without families to care for them. We taught them the art of knitting recycled plastic. Knitting gives these kids patience and reunites them with a shared ancestral heritage. <laughs> we were able to walk the shores of Lake Titicaca, picking up plastic bags of many colors. There's too much plastic for me to knit and weave. I'm encouraging local artisans to work with this colorful material and opening markets for their handmade objects. It was quite a lot of work. The Wipala is a symbol of Andean identity used to maintain and celebrate our traditional ways. The seven colors represent the rainbow. The pattern reflects elements of the Southern Cross and other constellations. The work helps people think about our common past while living in the current moment. Modern and ancient is carried in the plastic. 